In this video, I'm going to show you how to protect your paintings with this archival varnish from Krylon. This is one type of varnish that you can use on paintings, and that's what we're going to be looking at in this video. And in particular, I'm going to show you how to spray a painting when it's laying flat, which is a little bit different than what the instructions itself says to do but this is what I've always done and I've always gotten really great results. So that's what we're gonna be showing in this video and if that's what you're interested in learning, stick around. Consider giving me a thumbs up and subscribing and clicking the bell if you like helpful content like this. This is not super glossy and this is a really nice sheen. I would say that this, in my opinion, is equivalent to a semi-gloss that um, in terms of the gloss level, compared with other products that I have seen. So I don't feel like this is super, super glossy, like what I would normally think of as a gloss. So I like this for many of the coatings of my paintings where I feel like something super glossy would be just a little too much, but I don't really want something flat and matte either. Today we're going to varnish this painting. And if you'd like to see the creation of this painting, could find that in the link. The first thing that we want to do is we want to make sure that there's no dust on here. So I'm using a cloth that is free of dust and cat hair. <laughs> All right, especially if this has been hanging on the wall curing or up on its end curing, you want to make sure that there's no dust. So you can use a microfiber cloth or an old t-shirt as long as you're sure that there's nothing on it. I might actually have problems with my cats. So you also want to make sure that there's no dust or pet hair on the surface that you're going to be doing this on either. And you want to be in a well ventilated area so I'm outside. Now the directions do say to have whatever it is you're spraying up upright so that the, the can itself is more in this in this um, position. But I've typically done my paintings with them drying flat. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I do it with the painting drying flat. So you have to shake your can. You want to you want to make sure this is shaken really well. You want to keep the nozzle approximately six inches away and you want to go in even strokes like this, sweeping motions just like this. I like to actually get my spray going out, not on the painting at first, just to make sure it's coming out in a nice mist and not an inappropriate stream, which might really mess up the finish on my painting. So I like to get it going like that, all right? Yeah, that's good. So now I'm gonna bring it back and forth and back and forth in a really fine coat okay now i'm gonna let that dry this this does dry really quickly it dries in about uh, just a few minutes but i'll let it sit for about 15 and then i'll come in and i'll do a second coat i also will make sure that i get all of my my sides and my edges within that mist Hey, I'm gonna come back in for a second coat. This has been sitting for a little while now and I'm confident that the first coat has set. And again, I'm gonna get my spray going out in the distance. I want, cause I wanna also make sure it's it positioned in my hand correctly and that the spray is coming straight out. If I give it a test and it goes off to the side, then I've done that in my test and I can get this readjusted uh, before I actually go to put it on my painting, all right? So again, I'm gonna spray and then I'm gonna come in these sweeping motions. I'm gonna make sure I get these sides. I'm going to come around here. All right, the wind is kind of going against me there, but I wanna make sure I got that side. And I wanna make sure I get this edge, okay? Now, those are really fine mists that I've put on there. And now we're gonna let that set. And again, 
very thankfully this really sets up and dries to the touch really, really quickly. Another thing you can do to ensure that you've coated it well across the whole thing is you can just step to different angles and just um, kind of sway your head or your, your body and let your eyes sweep across it. And you'll be able to see the nice sheen where the coating has gotten. But if there are any areas that look just a little bit duller in appearance, then you know that you may not have coated it as well in that area. And then you can make sure that you target those in another coat. And you can put multiple layers of this. I usually put two. I feel two is usually sufficient. Okay, so I noticed there's a little bit of a few areas here that just seem a little dull to me, and I wanna make sure that those are covered really sufficiently. So this has been setting for a while after the second coat, and I'm gonna come back in now, and I'm just gonna do another coat. overall get the sense that that is probably going to be enough for this painting and um, we'll take a, a closer look at it once this is set. Once you have finished spraying your coating and you're done for the day, you're done for that particular time or even if you're going to come back in an hour and, and do something else, you, you need to do this in between if you're going to let this can sit that long so that the, the tip here doesn't clog up. So when you're finished for the time, you want to turn this can upside down and you want to just press it and spray until there you go it's down to air now you want to spray that out until nothing comes out of it and that'll help prevent this from clogging and this is what the piece looks like you can see that there's a mild sheen to it it just brings the colors out a little bit more than when it's just the flat dry paint itself. And yet it's not super, super glossy, which I personally like for many different styles of paintings. I do love a very high gloss type of look for some things, but not for all things. And so when I like something that has just a wonderful amount of sheen, this is my go-to varnish. Let me know what you think about this in the comments. Let me know if you liked this video, if you liked the outcome of how this varnish looks on this painting. Yes, now that I have placed this back on the wall where I have typically hung it, I can see that all of the colors have been intensified. Uh, the, the browner color is much deeper and much richer than it had appeared before and the aqua colors are really just popping a lot more uh, especially in this area they blended into the color the way that it looked a little bit more before and now the intensity is much more prominent this is very beautiful i'm very happy that i was able to get to doing that today and i appreciate hearing from you and i look forward to seeing you in my next video